I want to know where you think you're going to be in five years or what you would like to see yourself doing or being in five years. Who? I don't know why that feels so intimate. Not intimate, it feels very powerful that someone would want to know about my future. Hi, my name is M. I go by she, they pronouns. You're watching Sexplanations, and today I am interviewing Dr. Lindsay Dale. Hi, Em. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing okay. Your life has changed so much in has the last it? few years. Yeah, you want an update? Yeah. I moved to Baja. I live there, and um, the locals call it Casa de Bruja, <laughs> which means witch house. I don't know if that's because of me or the house. And I do a lot of rescue work with homeless dogs. I kite surf. Oh, nice. And took a, about a year and a half hiatus from Sexplanations. Actually thought that I would retire, which I've talked a little bit about on the show. And then woke up one day and was like, got to do this. We're going to make a video. What made you decide to go to Baja? My health. So I have a condition called fibromyalgia, which kind of makes it feel like the space between my skin and my muscles is uncomfortable uh, everywhere except for my face. Thought was that if I could get to some place that has a pretty even temperature like San Diego, mm -hmm. that would suit me. So we're gonna go across the border where it's cheaper. But then when I got there, uh, wasn't a great match. So I tried to find out where my ULA class was <laughs> and I could go 19 hours north back to Missoula where ULA was created. It's a dance fitness class that I love. Or I could go 22 hours south to the closest Baja ULA class and I did. Ooh. And I showed up, went to the ULA class, found an RV park and stayed. Wow. And then bought a house and stayed, stayed. Going off of the stray dogs, how did that happen? Like, how did you start rescuing them? Did you like join an organization down there? Or did you just decide like, I'm just gonna do it on my own? I'm a middle-aged white woman. We have a thing <laughs> for <laughs> rescue dogs, I don't know. It's just part of the community down there. And mm -hmm. I think the people who were in my house prior were known as the puppy people. They had taken a palapa and turned it into a, um, a kennel for dogs. and. Aww. I love them and there are so many puppies and dogs that need homes, so Absolutely. gimme. That's fantastic. Yeah. Kite surfing. Mm -hmm. That's a new thing for you too, right? That you just learned or did you, have you always done that? No, I got to that village. Mm -hmm. It's a village, it's itty bitty. It's an attraction worldwide for kite surfing. People come mm. from all sorts of places to catch the wind. And I had a broken heart at the time. And they said, you know, what is going to help you get over this is to feel like you're drowning and being drugged by a hurricane <laughs> through the water in the sea. Sure enough, it helps. It's been worse, right? and, yeah. <laughs> wow. Just add some choked water into the heartache and it at least gave a different <laughs> sensation. What other new things have you learned recently, dabbled in? Sex or non-sex? Non in the non-sex related world. Non-sex. Ooh, I'm sewing. Oh, my mom is currently here. She mm -hmm. flew in today to teach me how to sew. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm learning how to sew and I, I made this dress. Not, I mean, I took an afghan and I cut it apart and then re-knit it. I've been doing all sorts of crafts. <laughs> I made a whole bunch of outfits for my friend to wear at Burning Man. Ooh, uh, fun. Yeah. What fun, exciting things have you learned recently regarding sex? I decided to go on a sexcapade. Sexcapades? Go on sexcapades? I don't know how to say it. That's how unusual it is to me. <laughs> but I had been on two apps, Bumble and Hinge. Tinder is my favorite, but I got kicked off. I got kicked off back when Sexplanations went on tour and I would tell people in my bio where the next tour stop was as a place to meet me. Mm. And that was considered promotion. So they booted me. Anyway, Hinge, Bumble, messaged want to have sex. And then I would just straight up go and have sex with these people. Like we were paying taxes <laughs> because I had not ever done that before. Mm -hmm. I had never had functional, like get it done Hook sex ups. before. No, I need to talk to the partners 
to see how they feel about it, but I would like to do an entire episode where I share the many, 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 many things that I learned from that experience. That's awesome. That would be really interesting. Yeah, especially from your background of teaching sexuality and gender for so long, not having experienced that. And then with all of this knowledge Mm -hmm. that you've built up for so long and all of the amazing exploration that you've already done to like have that now, that's really, really fascinating because I feel like so many people start there and then explore the the opposite direction. (laughs) So No, but I'm very serial monogamous one after the other long-term, long-term relationships, Mm -hmm. lots of them. That's awesome. Surprise! (laughs) What is your favorite dinosaur? Chicken. (laughs) Is a chicken a dinosaur? (laughs) It's a descendant of dinosaurs. Yeah, so I eat it very regularly, it tastes delicious. (laughs) That's fantastic, I like that answer. I can cuddle with them, they're alive currently. (laughs) They're alive currently. (laughs) Kind of similar to a question that you asked me a few years back when I was on your podcast. You would ask me where I saw myself in five years. I want to know where you think you're going to be in five years or what you would like to see yourself doing or being in five years. Ooh, I don't know why that feels so intimate. Not intimate. It feels very powerful that someone would want to know about my future. I have therapy tomorrow. That's good. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I have all of these goals. Like I really want to create this business called Dead and Alive where people who want to commit suicide can prearrange to have their organs donated while they're still alive and then they die and then they're dead and their body parts are alive in someone else. And I really want to have (laughs) these giant fields of decomposing human bodies so that the environmental cost of dying via cremation or burials isn't doing harm to the planet. But For some reason, sex and death are very uh, united, I think. I think my hair is going to be longer. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I would like to be married. This week I bought wedding rings and a wedding dress, and I don't have a partner. Oh, really? But it just felt like the thing to do. It felt right. I would love to know Spanish. Where I live, most people speak English, so it's been difficult for me to learn. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of self-discipline about it. With fibromyalgia, it's tricky, but I would love to be a professional dancer. If everybody could just rally and get me onto the... What's that show called? Dancing with Stars? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, I think you could be a professional dancer. Lady Gaga has fibromyalgia and she still does all her performing and all her dancing and everything. How old is she though? I think she's in her 30s. You and me, Lady Gaga. (laughs) I kind of want to go back and and talk about this, this idea of sex and death being connected. I think that's really interesting because sex so much like in the function of it is the creation of life. Mm -hmm. pairing it with this idea of death. When did you start noticing yourself being interested by this? Oh, always. Always. Okay. Sex and death, just like this. There's a TED Talk Hmm. about decomponauts. Do you know this? I don't think so. It is my favorite TED Talk. There's a woman who has invented pajamas that have lines Mm -hmm. of a special fungus that decomposes the body. So you put this on and then you're decomposed. I do think it's interesting because I too also have that fascination. That's why when you yeah, said that, I was you like, are sex and mm. you are death and I am sex and I am death. <laughs> Thanos is the death instinct, right? Mm-hmm. The drive. Mm-hmm. And libido is the sex one. And supposedly they battle. That is so interesting. I always learn so many new things whenever I see you. <laughs> Good. But absolutely make me stay curious because mm. you'll tell me about things. I'm like, um, go home and play. <laughs> <laughs> Death. <laughs> sex. Stay curious. <laughs> oh, that was really good. You want to talk? You want to switch? One, two, three. All right. Stay curious. <laughs> <laughs> Do wiggle dance Credits. with Donna? Yeah. <laughs> Donna, 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 Donna,